We're in San Francisco, California, the birthplace of Tech Shop. This is a place where you can stop in, pay $125 a month, and make amazing things. We're gonna go inside and meet the co-founder and CEO, Mark Hatch. And we're gonna put on our glasses, and you're gonna show us what's going on in here. Absolutely. All right, so let's walk through. Right. These are very handsome. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about Tech Shop. So Tech Shop was started by my co-founder, Jim Newton, in 2006. We opened the second one here in San Francisco, and we now have about eight locations across the U.S. Our mission is to help drive global innovation by engaging, enabling, and empowering the creative class to build their dreams. Mm -hmm. So the engagement piece is really just making this interesting, you know, we use fun colors, we outreach to, you know, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts and so forth. The empowerment piece is when you create the entire platform and the community shows up and you become the largest aggregator of creatives in the city on any given day. Okay. We have members you know, that are Stanford professors, Berkeley professors, engineering students, startups, artists. They're all here typically working on their own private projects. And then what happens is they start helping one another out. So it's okay. this amazing aggregation of the greatest talent in the city. So it's 125 bucks a month to become a member. Uh, you have to take classes on any machine that you can hurt or can hurt you. Mm -hmm. We have more than 200 class sessions a month that will teach you how to use CNC, mills, laser cutters, 3D printers, you name it. We've got a class to cover it. So this is like Christmas for me. So what's, what do we got in here? <laughs> So, uh, so this is a standard metal shop. So we've got notchers and grinders and cutoff wheels. These are the core tools of the Industrial Revolution here, mills and lathes. The amazing thing is this machine, primarily because of this digital readout, we're getting these from China for $5,000. <laughs> and we'll teach you how to use it in two class sessions. We have a badging system, right? So we track whether or not you've taken the class. These mills and lathes, it will take you to get good at it. You still need to know your math. You attach a computer to it. You design everything in software and basically hit go. So what's going on in here? So this is our woodworking shop. All the tools you need to work in wood. Computer numerically controlled. We teach you how to use this in a couple class sessions, and it turns you into a master craftsman. He's using uh, foam core, so he's probably using this for, as a mold of some kind. Okay. Planers, drill presses, got a miter box, panel saw. We now have full-blown um, you know, air filtration systems and so forth for our And you also have these high-tech things. These are called, I believe, hammers. <laughs> Those are hammers. Those are hammers. Yeah. And you don't have to take a class to use a hammer. <laughs> Over here we have the laser cutter lab, by far the most popular machine because it's so easy to use. Again, computer numerically controlled. He did all of this with the laser cutter. That's a nice one right there. That's a good paperweight. Etch glass, etch rocks edge steel, cut wood, cut plastic, cut leather, cut textiles. We know that there have been about 2,000 jobs, $200 million in annual revenue, just from the Bay Area location. And where are some examples of some folks who came out of here? Lightning Motors, the world's fastest electric motorcycle, okay. uh, came out of Menlo Park. It did 218 miles an hour in the Bonneville Salt Flats a couple summers ago. Recently wow. won Pikes Peak <laughs> Square. The merchant banking company, the original prototypes were done by James McKelvey in right our facility in Menlo Park. Patrick Buckley, the co-founder, came in and asked, what classes do I need to take to learn how to make an iPad case out of bamboo and book binding? Uh -huh. 90 days later, he had <laughs> sold a million dollars in product. Wow. We recently met the President of the United States in our Pittsburgh uh, mm -hmm. location, and he had a Secret Service agent come over and hand him the, the case. Because he, <laughs> he said, hey, guy, you know this, I'm sure, but you know, did you realize that my iPad case came out of tech shops? Like, yeah, we know that story. <laughs> this was an entrepreneur. Didn't know how to use a laser cutter, mm -hmm. learned. Doesn't know anything about electronics, so he took the Arduino class. So the stepping stones now to a prototype are so low, he launched a Kickstarter campaign. He raised $480,000, okay. and he and his brother then needed to produce 4,800 <laughs> of them. <laughs> and so thank goodness for Kickstarter, thank goodness for the Jobs Act, which now allows individual entrepreneurs to go direct and advertise and let people know that they want to raise money. All right. So what's next for Tech Shop? 
Well, we have eight locations today, um, spread out across the U.S., three in the Bay Area. We just opened D.C. Um, we got Pittsburgh, Detroit, Austin. We're looking to put one in every major city in the U.S. and then around the globe. Is this a school? Is this a workshop? Yeah, is this exactly. A... What is it? Exactly. Yeah, it's a membership-based fabrication studio. It's a makerspace. So, yes, 30% of our revenue is education, 50% mm -hmm. of our revenue is memberships. Mark, yeah. this has been a great tour. I love these things. This is like, this is, I'm a kid in a candy shop here. It's amazing stuff. Thank you very much, right. John. I appreciate it. Thanks for having it. me. Yeah.